First at 10, early voting began Monday, and Cameron County voters have a chance to decide on whether or not they'll pay more in sales taxes. CBS 4 Stephen Seeley is in the studio, and Stephen, this isn't the first time they've seen this proposition. No, it's not. It's actually the second time voters will be seeing this proposition on the ballot. Last year, nearly 62% of voters shot it down. I spoke to the elections administrator to see where the money would go and asked residents if they plan to check yes this time around. For a second straight election, Cameron County voters will decide on a 2% sales and use tax increase for the county. Proposition A will impact all areas in Cameron County outside the jurisdiction of city limits. Which is similar to what cities utilize but currently isn't uh, charged outside the county. County Elections Administrator Remy Garza says the county would use the funds to improve the county's rural areas. It would create a revenue stream outside the tax rate allowing the county to fund projects like streetlights and community parks. During last year's election, Cameron County residents chose to vote against the increase. Garza says he believes residents didn't vote yes on the proposition because there was another sales proposition that did succeed. So sometimes it is better to bring it back to them, uh, allow them the opportunity to consider it uh, within its own space, and you might find a different result when people get a chance to consider everything that's being requested. The 2% increase would bring up the county's sales tax to 8% the same as city tax rates. We asked county residents who plan on voting which way they'll vote and why. Well, I would vote no because we don't want to pay more taxes. We're trying to get rid of them, actually. It'd be better if we didn't have taxes. The, the increase for the tax for the outside of the cities should be increased even maybe a little bit more. It's one, to help the community and the outside where people don't get any help at, no street lights. The 2% sales tax increase would only apply to places in the county and not city limits. In the studio, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.